Okay, so we have all of our flasks labeled with the weights and the corresponding metals. So we know that each one is gonna be cast in silver. We know exactly how much each one weighs based on water displacement. And now we wanna get through the flow dynamics of sprueing. So as these pieces were printed, we determined what size we wanted these vents and sprue trees to be, but we're putting all of our core material into the tip of this first star. And although we could just moosh it to the base, right? There's no issue with that, except that getting in there with sprue cutters or bolt cutters or a jeweler saw is gonna be very cumbersome. So we're gonna make a small choke point, but we wanna make sure that we're dealing with the average thickness of our piece. So this entire part has designed to be about two and a half millimeters thick uniformly. But if you consider the point of this star, or on a much larger scale, the point of this star, there's still a lot of material that needs to be fed into that opening to get to these individual sprues, and then those will come and backfill each separate star. And so ultimately the question is, how hard can you force the metal to go up, and can you get it to force back? And ultimately your opening should be fairly large if you're going to feed in the point of the star direction. If you were to sprue it this way, which would be totally reasonable, you could just bend all five of these points and stick them into the sprue base, and that would work fine. So we have the option to do both with both, but I think it would be most prudent in this case to sprue to the point. This allows air bubbles to come out of the back of the star, and so we're gonna do that with all three with different tiered confirmations to compare. 